Hello, I'm from the Australian Government. We know these devastating floods have been hard for you, but they've been hard for us too. They've happened on the eve of an election. And since we've abandoned, betrayed, burned, drowned or pissed off just about every living thing on this continent, we can't even resort to handshakes, cosplay and photo ops anymore. Top can. In our defence though, nobody could have seen this coming. I mean, sure we were briefed about a severe risk of flooding and storms just a few months ago, in a report which we only released when forced to under a freedom of information request, and sure scientists have warned that for each degree of warming, our atmosphere can hold 7% more water, which our own science agency told us would cause more intense flooding, as did the bomb here, the IPCC here and here and more scientists here, but apart from all the warnings we ignored and suppressed, nobody could have seen this coming. Anywho, now that we've seen it, rest assured we'll still go ahead and tap into the Beedaloo, Narrabri and Scarborough gas fields, which will ensure the next floods and fires will be even worse. Of course, if Putin had caused this damage, we'd impose sanctions on him. But since it was mainly caused by our donors, we'll just give them some grants to help them keep doing it. What's that? You thought our job was to keep you safe? Oh, sweetheart. Our actual job is to keep them safe from you. That's why, whenever a climate disaster like this takes place, we send out our big sack of shit in chief to the disaster area to take the heat for them and maybe pose for a photo op. Country Road. It's all part of our get fucking used to it policy for dealing with climate disasters. Homes underwater? Homes on fire? Homes underwater and on fire? No problem. Try get fucking used to it. Cause we just have to accept that Australia's becoming a harder country to live in. For you that is. Not for these guys who get billions of dollars in subsidies from us and live here tax free. But if you, who does pay tax, needs to be rescued from your sinking home, we'll tell you it's your fault for building your house in the way of Chevron trail of destruction. Some say we should introduce a levy on fossil fuel exports to make the bastards start paying for the damage they cause. But why do that when Dutto can just set up a GoFundMe and make you chip in for the costs? Go fuck yourselves. So as things fall apart, and let's be clear, these floods are just the beginning, you might want to start organising your own communities because you're on your own, dickheads. We'll be counting the interest on the unspent disaster recovery fund while you crowdfund choppers and rescue each other in tinnies. Or you could kick us out at the coming election and get a government that isn't captured by fossil fuel interests and who won't abandon and gaslight you as we head deeper into the climate crisis. Australian government will literally get you all killed if you re-elect us in May. Authorised by the Department for Thoughts and Prayers.